Hello, everyone. Here we go again. Um, today, I wanted to share with you uh, the concept of leadership because many of our students are running for leadership positions. Uh, the Mr. Kenneth and Mr. Grocky, uh, together with Mrs. Vigneron, put together a wonderful video. So my thought today is leadership and how we are all, in a way, leaders and hopefully uh, good followers. When you study leadership and supervision, you have different models and how we all lead, not just the ones at the top, the ones at the middle and the ones at the bottom also lead because every time you affect positive changes, you're being a leader. Um, and that is a different vision of leadership. Some people think that we are a top-down uh, society, but actually the bottom-up approach where the vision comes from the top and the implementation comes from the bottom makes you, each of us feel very useful. So here we go with a PowerPoint that I just finished for you. And I'm very excited because you know how much I love sharing, as Mr. Noonan does, inspirational thoughts with you. Um, so let's see. We go from the very beginning. Okay, third time. Patience. Okay. I want to share this with you. So hopefully you can see me and you can hear me. Thumbs up or a text will come. So leadership, the power to inspire and to transform, okay? And today in history, it's very interesting to see how there were mistakes made, very serious mistakes. We have um, a boat fleeing from Nazi Germany with 937 Jewish people, many children, many families who were turned away from Havana, Cuba. Then they asked for refuge in the US and Canada, but we didn't respond on, on time and they returned to Europe. But two years later, 1941, FDR realized that we need to do something about the Nazis. And he repeated a, a phrase that he used in 1933 in a speech during the Great Depression. And the only thing he said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Again, in history, um, examples of leadership in 1945, a Soviet writer criticized Stalin he was uh, then um, banned from the Soviet Union. He kept criticizing the totalitarian system. He earned the Nobel Prize in 1950 for his firm, uh, famous novel, One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich. And interesting how um, eventually he could return he did return to the Soviet Union because the Soviet officials dropped the charges against him. And so he returned and um, one year later, the Soviet Union collapsed. He returned in 1990 and 1991. So 
can you imagine uh, more than 30 years in exile and but his voice was true leadership so here there are some many quotes on leadership because our students are running because we're followers and we have to be good followers if your actions inspire others to dream more learn more do more become more you're a leader quincy adams john quincy adams um, this one is unknown, but I think it pertains to all of us. Leaders instill in their people a hope for success and a belief in themselves. Positive leaders empower people to accomplish their goals. And I do believe uh, the best definition of a leader is to be a leader of leaders. Empower everyone to become their best self, as we usually see, say at um, Fenwick. What about you? Leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. Keep learning. The, the more wisdom, the more virtue you get, the better of a leader you will be. So here we are with the elections, and they put a beautiful video for you to see on your own. Um, but Aristotle reminds us, he who cannot be a good follower cannot be a good leader. So class leadership positions. Uh, we have people running for president, vice president, to serve our classmates and our community. So here we are, senior class president, Brianna, Alexa uh, are running, senior class VP, Colby, junior class president, Catherine, Aiden, Julia, junior class VP, Shona, sophomore class president, Gillian, Avery, sophomore class VP, Ava, Morgan. So congratulations for running. Just that mere fact is a success. Okay, because it shows your desire to serve your community. So what about SAC positions, the school-wide leadership? We have treasurer, secretary, president, who want to serve our students and our community, work with us. So we have for SAC president, Lainey, SAC secretary, Alex, and the treasurer, we have two positions. So what's next? We are going to pray for you, okay? We're going to pray for every leader in our community, for every leader in our country. We need good leaders. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Leadership is hard to define. Lord, let us be the ones to define it with justice. Leadership is like a handful of water. Lord, let us be the people to share it with those who thirst. Leadership is not about watching and correcting. Lord, let us remember it, it is about listening and connecting. Leadership is not about telling people what to do. Lord, let us find out what people want. Leadership is less about the love of power and more about the power of love. Lord, as we continue to undertake the role of leader, let us be affirmed by the servant leadership we witness in your son, Jesus. Let us walk in the path he has set and let those who will follow. Let our greatest passion be compassion, our greatest strength, love, our greatest victory, the reward of peace. In leading, let us never fail to follow. In loving, let us never fail. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So, mm -hmm, the elections are on, okay, my friends? Watch the video, homework, vote tomorrow during your class, um, your theology class, ballot will be provided. Think of the servant leadership that you want to have among your peers and how we move Fenwick forward, how we adapt and overcome as one of our beloved teachers usually say, Mr. K. And then as a preview of upcoming attractions, we are planning our underclassmen awards night for June 3rd at 6 p.m., a virtual celebration. You'll be hearing more about this in uh, more announcements to come. But in the meantime, make sure that you are an active citizen, that you vote, listen to your peers. That video is beautiful. They talk about many goals that they want for our community and how to work collaboratively with all of us, okay? My apologies for the technological problems. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the message and you will be um, an engaged citizen and vote tomorrow, okay? Thank you.